This is a question on Bankhead's algorithm for deadlock avoidance coming from operating systems. Now, the question text again was very large, so I haven't written the entire thing. I have given the summary only. For reading the entire question text, please refer to the question paper. So, the summary is this. We have been given three types of resources, E, F and G. And there are four processes currently running, P0, P1, P2, P3. This is the matrix for resource allocation, current allocation, which means that P0 has been allocated one resource currently of type E and one zero resource of type F, one resource of type G, P2 has been assigned three resources of type G, etc. This is the current allocation. And this is the maximum request. So P0 at any time will request up to maximum four resources of type E. P2 can request a maximum of three resources of type F. This is the total request that will come. And currently after allocation, we have three instances of E and three instances of F available. From a deadlock perspective, deadlock avoidance perspective, which of the below are true? A. The system is in safe state. B. The system is not safe, but it would be safe if one more instance of E is available. The same, the system is not safe, but would be safe if one more instance of F is available. D says one more instance of G is available. So let's take a look at how to solve this. Now we know that this has been allocated currently and this is the maximum request which can happen. So we will find out how many requests it can request, how many resources it can request in the future. That is nothing but maximum resource request minus currently allocated ones. So that matrix I have drawn here. Let's take a look at one. P0 currently has one. P0 of type E. P0 can request a maximum of four of type E. It currently has one, meaning in the future it can request up to three resources. In the same way, I have filled the entire chart. So, a column here means P2 now can request up to three resources of type F additionally. We have three resources of type E available, three resources of type F available and zero resources of type G available. Now, let us see which all we can satisfy currently. We have 3 and 3 available. Let's look at P0. P0 can request up to 3 of E, up to 3 of F and 0 of G, which is less than what is currently we are having. So we can satisfy P0 here. So let us say P0 is requesting these two and P0 runs. After P0 running, it will release what it currently has as well. So we had We had 3, 3 and 0 available. After P0 runs, it will be releasing what it currently has, which is 1, 0 and 1. The total is 4, 3 and 1. Now we have 4 resources of E, 3 resources of F and 1 resource of type G. We can clearly satisfy this one as well. This only needs 3 resources of type H, F, which we already have. So let us say we allocate the resource to P2. P2 runs and it will release 103 of these types. After P2 runs and releases its resources, we will have 5, 3 and 4 resources of each type. Now P1 can be easily satisfied. Let us say we assign resources to P1. After P1 runs, it will release 1, 1 and 2 respectively. So now we will have 6. 4 and 6 resource of each type clearly p3 can also be run so p3 will run it will also release meaning the system is in safe state there is no deadlock 